What's up? Today we're building up a dyno comp from 1987. This has been repowdered and restickered. It's looking really good. It's got the 990 brakes on the bottom, one inch headset, some little standards over here, coaster brake mounts. This is a really nice one. A lot of people are looking for this from 1987. So we're gonna build it up for you guys. Gonna go through all the parts with you as well. We have the dyno pretzel bars, also fresh powder. These are the dyno forks, very hard to find, very classic. From there we have some black Diacomp 990 brakes, a white SC seat. We have some clear brake pads, Odyssey, bar ends, ACS freewheel. This is the original dyno GT post, an MX clamp. We have some Fiction camo pedals, a blue cam seat chain, cheese grater knockoff sprocket, Diacomp brake, GT power series cranks, volume grips. We have this cool stander on the back labeled GT. We have some Tech 77 levers. We have an Odyssey 1999 brake for the front. These are the dyno. We have some dyno pad sets over here. Skyway mag wheels with some Haro tires, a one inch headset. Also some GT frame standards. So really excited for this build. It's gonna look really sick. Let's get to the build.
what's up everybody? We finished up this dyno from 1987. This is the dyno comp. It's looking really nice. We're gonna go through some parts with you. First of all, we have the Odyssey hammerhead bar end, volume grips, Tech 77 lever. This one's flipped upside down. We have an Odyssey gyro cable, dyno pretzel bars, a GT mallet knockoff stem. This is a Tech 77 on the other end with the same setup. We have a one inch gyro, some of the stickers looking really good. Odyssey 1999 brake, Haro tire with a Skyway mag wheel. In the middle we have a Fiction camo pedal with a GT Power Series crank and a cheese grater dyno knockoff sprocket. Blue cam C chain, MX clamp, one of these frame standards by GT stamped. A GT post with a SE plastic seat. And then again the Haro tire, Skyway mag wheel. We have an ACS freewheel with some GT frame standards some 990 brakes hiding down there. So let us know what you think of this beautiful build. This one came out really nice. It's a really classic bike from 1987. Comment below if you had one back in the day. And thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon.